But I think I think right now though, like back to your, I got a little off track. I'm sorry. You, I think we are at a point now where it's the smart money is starting to find these companies, you know, and the retail investors are probably buying the Teslas and stuff and everything. And we talked about that earlier. Um, so I think that's really good for us. Uh, and I'm seeing, a, and I'm actually seeing the momentum kind of. When I was first early in my career, it was a great formula. I would look for momentum momentum companies that were still undervalued or going through turnarounds, whatever. And it worked really well. It was timely. Um, I think we're kind of get we, before COVID, we were kind of there. I thought a lot of these wonderful companies were being recognized relatively. Their value was being recognized quickly by their investors, and you, were, you saw a lot of volume coming into them. There was a lot more liquidity coming into that space. How do you define momentum? Um, I, I was I would just look at I would so uh, when I was just the new high the new high list fifty two week new high list I would just use that sometimes I'll use a three and six month high list but when I was my man career man for twenty years I thought I would use I you know there was twenty thousand stocks there how do I define how do I reduce the universe I didn't like screens too much because data you couldn't trust the data yeah so I was like if I can find companies hitting new highs and find out the reason they're doing it is it bullshit or real and they're so undervalued. Maybe that's telling me there's an inflection point going on here, and you know the herd mentality. So I could buy great companies that everyone else is going to buy, and I could make money really quick. That's how it was in that you know ten to twenty year period for me. Um, and um, so that's how I define momentum, and it's, I think it's working again actually. And it was it still was working in the small cap, big cap, large cap area for the last few years, right? But it stopped working in that in the, in the micro cap, nano cap land. So the last 10 years, I started, all right, you know what, let me reset a little bit, or the last 12 years. Let me start doing the, make treating investing like an art again, like an art. Let me go back and find these companies well before they hit highs. You know, and because the strategies, they're not, the, the good quality stuff isn't hitting highs anymore. It's all, all shitty quality. So I've learned to become actually a much longer term investor, which I even, I love more than ever now. I'm, I'm, I'm my longest hold is 13 years now. You know, back then it was probably nine months. You know, when I first started and I'm start. you know, it's so now I'm combining. Okay, let me find these hidden companies four or five years. I can get price. I'm never going to get established small positions then. And then as everything's proven, plan is proven, I can momentum comes in. I'll really jack it up, you know, maybe even sell that momentum now. Maybe I'll, I got most I'm, I'm being patient now and I might sit three or four years. I'm making money. But man, if you can make, you know, get really great price. It's worth waiting instead of buying it, you know, three times higher at the at the inflection point of you know the minimum. So previously you were hunting for them on the fifty-two week high, highs list. How are you finding them now? Yeah, so I, I still I, that's still my better. I mean, I love it. It's, I, it's fun to me, right? But so the Steve, I still do it. Um, but I'm based. So our team, we're reading press releases. Every every nano cap press release comes out, we're reading it. Um, all the SEC file, as long as they have 50, if you have 50 million shares outstanding or less, we're going to look at you and read your press release, read your earnings report, read your conference call transcripts, uh, and call management when we when we when we give it down to like a 10 stock kind of bucket through our research process, right? 